Rappler, its reporters, and regional correspondents on Thursday file a petition before the Supreme Court seeking an end to President Rodrigo Duterte's coverage ban. Duterte's ban against Rappler has been in effect for 14 months now, barring Rappler reporters from covering his public events. The ban started on February 20, 2018, when Rappler Palace reporter Pia Ranada was stopped by Presidential Security Group officer from entering Malacanang complex. Various reasons have been provided by Malacanang and Duterte himself for the ban, including the revocation of Rappler's license to operate. Since February 2018, there have been seven other instances where Rappler reporters, aside from Ranada, were kicked out of coverages, including the April 2018 Palarong Pambansa sports event held in Ilocos Sur. We are filing this petition because we want to practice our profession. We are journalists. Physical presence in a newsworthy event is integral to our work. Asking officials questions face-to-face -face is integral to our work. Malacanang's ban prevents us from doing our jobs. We are filing this petition because we believe the ban is not just a threat to Rappler, but to all journalists. If this ban goes unchallenged, maybe the next president will think, Duterte got away with it. I can't do it. And maybe it won't be Rappler at the receiving end of that order. Press freedom, free speech, due process, and equal protection are guaranteed by the Constitution. We're asking the Supreme Court to affirm these fundamental rights. Before reaching the Supreme Court, Rappler said its managers had reached out to Executive Secretary Salvador Medialdea and Press Secretary Martin Andanar to end the coverage ban, but did not get any response. The petition is filed by Ranada and Rappler colleagues Camille Elemia, Mara Cepeda, and Ralph Rivas, along with regional correspondents Bobby Lagsa, Raymond Duliana, Frank Simatu, and Mauricio Victa, all experienced being excluded or kicked out from coverages. Yes, I was on the public event uh, for PDP Laban. Was sa campaign tapos hindi naman ako pumasok sa sa gym kung saan pupunta si President Duterte. I was in the public space in a public state university. Pero pinaalis nila ako hanggang highway. So yun ang it impedes my ability to report. A significant press freedom test case under the Duterte administration, Rappler argues the coverage ban is a violation of the constitutional guarantees of a free press, free speech, equal protection, and due process.